There's a growing controversy tonight about the so-called bathroom bill. It requires public school students to use bathrooms and locker rooms that coincides with the gender on their birth certificate. Opponents say it unfairly targets transgender students, and now the state's attorney general is speaking out. Cuthbert Langley has been following the latest. Cuthbert, what did the attorney general say? Uh, Vicki, he said if this bill is passed, Tennessee risks losing millions of dollars in federal funding. That's because he says it violates Title IX, a federal anti-discrimination law. And tonight, the attorney general isn't the only one speaking out against this bill. This was just issued. So In a crowded room Monday, press. Democratic lawmakers once again spoke out against House Bill 2414. There are a lot of uh, good reasons to be opposed to the bathroom bill. And now the attorney general is joining that growing chorus of concern. In this opinion released, Herbert Slattery says Title IX prohibits exactly what the bathroom bill is designed to accomplish. Party leaders now hope lawmakers listen to the AG's opinion. This attorney general opinion should put an end to the debate and establish that this is absolutely the wrong road for Tennessee. These voices of concern are now reaching beyond the walls of the legislature. But we need more. We need big voices in this industry. Transgender activists are calling on record labels and artists to speak out against the bill, something Bruce Springsteen did when he canceled a concert in North Carolina, a state that recently passed similar legislation, forcing fans to give their money back. It's a state of love, and we need the Nashville music industry to stand with us in a show of love and acceptance for all people. In all, city leaders estimate Nashville stands to lose nearly $60 million in tourism dollars if the bathroom bill becomes law. Conventions and companies have threatened to leave the state. But what has not left is the support the bathroom bill's sponsor still holds. I don't see myself pulling it. I really want people to understand it. Now, the Senate version of the bill will be discussed in a committee hearing tomorrow. If you want to read the Attorney General's full report, you can do so on our website, newschannel5.com. We're live at Bicentennial Mall tonight. Cuthbert Langley, News Channel 5.